Fox News appears to be giving in to the pressure from Islamic extremists who are calling on Fox News to fire Judge Jeanine Pirro when America's Pearson Sharp has more. Fox News is bowing down to the demands of a terrorist organization that wants to silence Judge Jeanine Pirro. If that sounds like an extreme statement, let's break down the facts. On her Saturday show on March 9th, Judge Jeanine questioned whether or not Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar's loyalty to Islamic doctrine was compatible with the U.S. Constitution. That's it. But immediately, CARE, or the Council on American Islamic Relations, leapt to the attack, accusing Judge Jeanine and Fox News of espousing hateful Islamophobic messages. CARE then demanded that Judge Jeanine be fired and that Fox News and advertisers should pull their funding until her show was taken off the air. Surprisingly, Fox jumped on board with CARE, publicly condemning Pirro's comments and pulling her show the next Saturday. Just like that, free speech was cut short and Fox News caved in to pressure from an extreme left organization that's nothing more than a front for exporting Islamic terrorism, CARE. And that's not just a wild claim, because CARE's origins can be traced directly to the radical Palestinian group Hamas. It gets a little complicated, so let me walk you through it. Hamas is a U.S.-designated terrorist organization and was founded in 1987 as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood with the sole purpose of destroying Israel. CARE got started when the Muslim Brotherhood began branching out around the world, developing its network inside Western nations, like the United States, and funneling money back to Hamas in Palestine. According to the FBI, a group called the Palestine Committee was then created by the Muslim Brotherhood as a support network for Hamas in America. It's basically a stand-in for the Muslim Brotherhood in the United States. That group, in turn, created a propaganda network called the Islamic Association of Palestine, the IAP, which was run by a man named Nihad Awad. Awad is a Palestinian refugee who closely coordinated the operations of the IAP, which, if you'll recall, was created by the Muslim Brotherhood. Finally, it comes full circle as Nihad Awad, with the help of a man named Omar Ahmad, went on to create the Council of American Islamic Relations, what we know today as CARE. CARE is designed from the ground up to support the activities of the Islamic Association of Palestine, which is simply aimed at promoting, funding, and expanding the activities of the terrorist group Hamas. In fact, both Awad and Ahmad were caught by an FBI wiretap in what's known as the Philadelphia meeting in 1993. According to the FBI, that meeting was aimed at brainstorming ways for the Hamas sympathizers to cover up their connections to Islamic extremists. Straight from Hamas terrorists in Palestine and the Muslim Brotherhood to CARE, where today that very same Nihad Awad is in charge. And now, CARE is throwing its weight against Fox News, who's caving in, silencing an American citizen and a journalist, and curtailing free speech, all so they can save face in front of Muslim terrorists. Even attorney Andrew McCarthy, a key prosecutor of the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, agreed with Judge Jeanine, saying Sharia law is antithetical to the Constitution and to American principles. This is how we lose our freedom of speech. If Judge Jeanine and those like her can be silenced for voicing opinions unpopular with Muslim terrorist organizations, that's a fatal blow to our democracy and a win for those who want to undermine everything we stand for as Americans. For One American News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.